Good afternoon, SBOE members. Thank you for taking my testimony. My name is Carly Gant. I reside in Collin County and I'm a mom of four who have been through public school. One still attends our neighborhood school and my oldest has taught public kindergarten for the past two years. I'm here to speak against the Blue Bonnet learning materials. I have reviewed many of these on my own as a parent and also with my daughter. These materials are age inappropriate. Kindergartners are taught about the Iroquois Confederacy, Pedro Menendez, Sam and Samuel Collier. They are taught about royal families, King Solomon, Cleopatra, Prince Lang Lao, Princess Yeniga, and Mansa Musa. I'm sure that y'all probably don't know who every single one of those people are. I know I didn't know who they were until I looked them up after reviewing this. All before they learn who George Washington is. This is when these children are supposed to be learning their letters, numbers, holidays, and what a home and family unit is. These lessons ask kindergartners to identify and describe on a map St. Augustine, Santa Fe, and Jamestown, along with Native American nations. The current contrast, the current kindergarten takes include basic directional terms such as over, under, left, and right, and locating places on their school campus for map exercises. Our kindergarten teachers will be introducing our five and six year olds to the American Revolution, the Civil War, and the concept of slavery. In the current TEAK, slavery is not even introduced until fifth grade. And now these lessons have our kindergartners learning about it and the Emancipation Proclamation. These are just a few of many examples of age inappropriate lessons which span across all grades and not just kindergarten. Children this age are not developmentally ready to comprehend this sort of instruction. It sets them and our teachers up for failure. I encourage you to vote no on these instructional materials. Thank you.